we've made it over the San Luis or San Luis Pass and oh my good God once again once again I'm on top of the world more hikers over in the distance Wow I cannot believe uh, that we're actually here unbelievable amazing we're in the descent now um, a lot of what they call 14 baggers uh, <clears throat> they're people that like to summit uh, mountains that are 14,000 feet plus a lot of them are here uh, in this area today and other days to summit the actual Mount St. Louis itself at 14,027 feet and they're called 14 baggers or 14 or baggers something like that um, of course that's not me and as I explained uh, it's taking all my strength and energy um, to hike the trail so I'm not going to be throwing in any 14 as I've decided that but there are those that are and look over there there is a group of hikers a group of four if you can see them in the GoPro um, they look like day type hikers so they're going to be 14ers or 14 baggers uh, pretty sure um, anyhow having said that we're going to keep going we're going to enjoy this little time of, of a descent we've got a lot of climbing to do now but before that we have our descent and I'm going to enjoy it one more look at the majesty that lies before us I'm sat here having my breakfast got my oatmeal my coffee and the oatmeal is mixed with the bran with raisins again <laughs> I'm liking that one Mount San Luis we're just sat here having our breakfast and that's the view out of my office window today Absolutely perfect. Hostel day tomorrow, hopefully, if they have space. I just spoke to a young guy. He's a northbounder on the Colorado Trail. And he tells me there should be no problem getting space in the, um, it's called the Ravens Rest Hostel. He said you should be okay. There's not a lot of southbounders right now. That's what I am, a southbounder. Okay. Just a little check-in this morning, got my oatmeal, got my bran, my raisins, my coffee. Drying out. Well, defrosting and drying my um, fly sheet. Again, it was just covered in, in, in ice this morning. Cold. Cold, cold. And it was going to get colder. We're going to be high now. We're going to be high now for pretty much most of the trip. Um... About 12,800 feet right here. Okay, we'll talk to you in a bit. Right here, the San Luis, uh, San Luis Pass Trailhead. 
the end of segment 20, the beginning of segment 21. The trail that we'll be following, the beautiful vistas and scenery that we'll be seeing. Wow. It's about, oh, 10.30, quarter to 11, uh, day 23. I think it's August the 17th, by the way. It's a Tuesday. Uh, so this segment, segment 21, at the end of this segment is when I get the shuttle service or hitch into Lake City for hopefully a resupply, maybe a zero. That would be nice. Uh, this segment, I think it's 14.7 miles long. So I have enough time to get there. And it looks like there's good camping at about nine, nine and a half miles or so down the road, which would leave me, say, I don't know, what is that, five, five and a half or whatever miles in the morning. Look at the colors in those mountains. Stunning. So yeah, much better now the sun came up and it warmed up. So I mean, I'd say it's in the upper 60s, but as I'd said last night, it was the coldest one. I think it will be like that from now on in. Uh, down the rest of this uh, highway through the mountains, anyhow. Okay, I'll talk to you one soon. One more summit. Oh, 12,850 feet, I believe. Whew. Heading back down. Man, that one, that was a tough climb. Um, it's because the air got that much thinner. But once again, where am I, guys? Yep, you're right. I'm on top of the world, and there's nowhere else I'd rather be. Whew. Section 21 started off with an interesting kind of trail marker um, identifying the San Luis uh, trailhead uh, mountain pass and it's just been super interesting ever since we took a photograph of colors the different colors within the mountain mountains and from below and then we took that same photograph basically of that same subject matter but then from above as we came close uh, to completing this last summiting. But now, as pretty much always, when you summit a mountain, you go back down again. It's very much like a roller coaster on the Colorado Rockies of the United States of America. And it is beautiful. Whew. Third summiting of the day. Wow. I don't know what time it is, but man, this trail keeps making me climb. Okay. It rewards me with these views. Now, a little bit of an update. I just met a couple of uh, southbound hikers on the Colorado Trail heading to Durango. So obviously they're in pretty much the same location as I am I don't know what day they started but they tell me the hostel in um, Lake City is not open tomorrow it is closed Wednesday evening apparently something's going on or they're going away or whatever it might be so there is no hostel for me um, for tomorrow night now Having said that, there's always options. And then same people did tell me they were in touch with the local RV campground. And they said, yes, they have spots for hikers and showers and so on. And it's a, apparently a convenient location opposite the fire hall. So I guess if we burst into flames, we can get hosed down pretty quickly. Um, and on some of these climbs, believe me, 
I thought I was going to burst into flames. But anyhow, no house till tomorrow. So I don't know if I fancy a motel, hopefully with a hot bathtub or something. Quite expensive are hotels, motels here in Colorado, but I haven't had one yet, just hostels, and they've been very inexpensive, you know, 30 bucks a night or whatever, uh, 40 bucks with breakfast. So, um, my girlfriend Joanne, she's really, really rich. Um, maybe for my upcoming birthday. Uh oh, did Jasper say birthday? Uh, yes, he did. For those of you who follow my channel, you remember last year when we had a guess what day is it is today. Well, we're going to do that again, but we're not doing it today. Anyhow, maybe, maybe my girlfriend, who's very, very rich, um, would buy me a motel room for the night. Or, I doubt it, she'd probably just say, buy your own hotel room, you cheap bugger. But that's okay. Um, anyhow, and also there's a campground. And the campground has showers. I'm not sure if I just said this. Campground has showers and so on. Convenient location opposite the fire hall in town. So you know what? Either way, there's options. And if I do take a zero and the hostel opens up again for Thursday evening business, then I'll probably stay at the hostel for the Thursday evening. Um, so you know what? I don't mind a hotel for one night and then a hostel for the second night. That would be okay. Um, so yeah, a little bit of an update as the day progresses. Been a challenging day all around and I still haven't been able to communicate with anyone. That's about five days now. I just have not had a signal up here. Um, some people have, but with their US phones on their US carriers, but for some reason, mine's not connecting to. It does sometimes, but not enough to get a signal out uh, to a US carrier. Okay. Anyhow, little update and a little bit of trail for you um, as we now descend. We have one more, I believe, climb and then the descent down to where I plan on camping this evening. Um, at least I think that's how it goes. But then again, you know what? <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> Oh my goodness. You have no idea what it's like uh, to just have one day in the life of Jasper. You have no idea. Okay. I'm going. I'll talk to you later. Bye bye. <laughs> After summiting this particular challenge, I've got one more to do. Uh, and then I make my final descent for the day down to my campsite. Whew. I don't know. My campsite is maybe four miles away. But isn't this beautiful? Interesting rocks. Take a look. Just further down. Wow, into the valley. Beautiful. Isn't that interesting? Wow, just take a look. I know I keep showing you this kind of stuff, but this is what the Colorado Trail is all about. Let's have a look at the trail for a while. The end of another amazing day, day 23. Wow, August the 17th. Over here, there's a small lake or a large pond. I filtered water out of there. Look at the hills and the mountains. Today was a challenging day today. I did 
I think it's 14.6 miles today, which puts me in a great position for my uh, resupply day heading into um, Silverton tomorrow. So that should be okay. Not, not Silverton, beg your pardon. Heading into Lake City. I'm jumping the gun. Silverton is the next after that and final. Oh, got my first good look at the San Juan mountain range today in the distance. Highest elevation day today, almost 13,000, just a little under, about 12.9, I believe. Yeah. Sun's starting to go behind the clouds, and then we'll set. If we get any kind of uh, sunset this evening or color in the sky, I'm going to try to record some. But I've just had my dinner, which was chicken, mashed potatoes, uh, sorry, chicken, mashed potatoes, and then a kind dark chocolate cherry bar. Wow. Yeah. Just calculating the miles. Not that many more miles to go. Um, I think it's about 138 miles to Durango from here. Oh, I'm not sure. I'd have to check. Anyhow, you guys have a good night because I'm tired. I'm going to have a good night. Um, it's beautiful. It's peaceful. Just behind my tent, and you can't see this, but just behind my tent, towards the water, there's a few rocks, and then it just dips down. There's another tent down there with a couple of young ladies and a couple of dogs with them camping behind there. Um, I decided to keep up here, simply because near the water, it tends to be a little kind of soggy. I like it better here, but that's just me. Good night. Talk to you tomorrow.